So as you can see here, this area is the weapons that we have on the left hand side and this area is the armor on the right hand side. Okay, so this is what you have in store. Those 144 items, yeah, this is what it is. And on the right hand side here, these are the items that are equipped, currently equipped with Geralt. So basically we always have two swords. One is the steel sword and one is the silver sword. Steel sword is used for killing humans and the silver sword is used for killing monsters. And then you have the crossbow and the crossbow bolt along with it. Basically the ammo for the crossbow. Right now I have an exploding bolt. Okay. And yeah, the most important thing about these weapons, along with the perks that each weapon carries, you also have, as you can see, plus five percent sign intensity, plus three percent adrenal point gain. So these these come from the rune stones that you actually apply on your swords for added advantage or as you can see just increases the effectiveness of your weapons uh, so it's very important to collect rune stones right now I have these rune stones in my inventory I can just show it to you as you can see this is for uh, a poison in rune stone 2% chance to poison this is 3% chance to gain an adrenaline point so something like that similarly you have for your armors also rune stones as you can see here this is for the axi sign it increases the intensity by five percent this is for igni sign so again you can put these on your armors whichever armor has the capacity to hold these rune stones okay now these two are i mean these are the pocket section so the first two are for the potions that you create for example this cat potion is used to see in darkness okay so in areas where there is pitch darkness you can apply the cat potion you have the tiny owl, you have uh, different kinds of potions, you can you know, create ingredients from the alchemy page and then craft all these potions. And these are the consumables, the food items which you need to increase your vitality to your health. And again these pockets are used for the bombs, for placing your bombs. The bombs again vary based on the monsters and enemies you interact or encounter in this whole game. And again you can craft them, you have crafting uh, in the crafting page you can go and check it out and uh, these are the last two pockets so this magic lamp is a special item which I received after completing one quest I won't say from whom but I received from a person so as you progress in the story you will be receiving maybe some special items and you can place them in these pockets this area is the roach area roach is the horse that you have okay and uh, these four sockets here uh, I can give you one example for example this right the saddle the superior cavalry saddle so this is used for increasing the stamina of the horse in which you are riding your horse doesn't tire out that easily so it has 70 stamina initially I had 20 or 30 now and then in middle I had 50 now I have 70 then you have saddle bags this is for increasing the maximum inventory weight so initially I had 150 now I have 190 as you can see in the top left hand corner as I already discussed horse blinders is to increase your horse fear level so when you're riding on your horse and you're encountering some enemies on the way then your horse actually the fear level of your horse increases and if it reaches the full level then the horse can just throw you on the road and run away <laughs> so it's very important to have horse blinders and trophy yeah the enemies that you kill if you kill some special enemies you'll be receiving some special trophies from them and you can attach it to your horse or saddle to receive some bonuses right now this trophy has five percent bonus gold and this is the armor section again so basically I have the this is the executioner's armor that I have which is a medium armor this is a gauntlet and uh, you have the boots and you have the trousers so again your armors are categorized into three categories basically one is strong armor one is medium I mean heavy armor medium armor and light armor so if you have more of the heavy armor thing then what the heavy armor does is it actually absorbs a lot of damage and uh, you know you won't be receiving that amount of damage while dealing with enemies but again the stamina regeneration will decrease and if you have light armor then in light armor the stamina regeneration increases at a very faster rate but again not that much amount of damage will be absorbed as a heavy armor does so it's very important to have a mixture of heavy and medium and even light armor 
and here on top left you will be seeing uh, the oils and potions and bombs that you craft the food and drink are the consumables and these are the roach items on the right hand side you can fit in all the sockets as I already described you have the quest items and the normal items you can sell these normal items to merchants and you have the crafting and the alchemy items for crafting potions or you know if you are even crafting your armors weapons swords so this is the alchemy section where you can craft all your crafting I mean items which are used for creating alcohols and potions and bombs and you have this is the main crafting section where you can craft your boots your chest armors your crossbow bolt gauntlets silver sword and normal steel sword even the trousers here yeah. so you just can't craft them on your own you have to go to a blacksmith for crafting or forging weapons and to an armorer for again crafting arms books you can read books if you are a bibliophile this this page this area is very important for you and yeah you can go through all the characters so uh, in the glossary section you have the bestiary you have the characters these two sections are very important characters are the, all the numerous characters you will be encountering in your story it gives a background of all those characters and as you're progressing through the quests the characters also gets updated based on the progress you make on the quests and new characters also gets added to this section and the beast theory comprises of all the monsters that you will be encountering so right now I haven't encountered a lot and these are categorized uh, among all these beasts, curse ones, dragonoids, elementia, hybrids, insectoids for example I'll give you a very small example for example if I'm facing a drowner right so I'll go to the beast theory I'll read about the drowner and I'll see what the drowner is vulnerable against so I'll be seeing the necrophilic oil and the igni sign so if I apply a necrophage oil on my silver sword and I apply the igni sign then I'll be easily able to fight a drum so I'll be showing you how you can utilize this beast to the maximum effect while fighting them 